so welcome all so in this video i am going to introduce myself and i am going to introduce my course called ip addressing and submitting and what you will be learning in this course and then uh, some more in detail about these things so let me just introduce the course here now here you can see it's a course on ip addressing and submitting where we'll be learning uh, what are the, the basics of ip addressing and also we'll be learning some uh, advanced basic submitting and also we'll get into some advanced submitting things so you can learn this course free of cost you can subscribe and you can download uh, there are the good thing about this course is you can subscribe to this so that you can watch them online from any place and also you can easily download these videos so you can easily call, download and copy them to your desktop to so that your laptops and you can watch them at your leisure time so now why uh, i just made a separate course here so the main reason to make this course here is to ensure that the most people who are preparing for your CCNA, CCNT or ICND1, ICND2 exams, probably they, they find this submitting part as one of the most complicated part because really, uh, because you know, we get into submitting calculations, they are more into, uh, there are more complex things which I found many people who are doing CCNA, they find one of the most complex parts. So I try to use some simple easy examples and I tried my best to make the submitting as easy as I can so probably you'll find those things in the coming sections now the good thing about this course is you have some multiple sections covered here in these multiple sections like I, I divided them into four sections here so in these four sections the first section is covering basics of IP addressing where I'll give you very good foundations on IP addressing even if you don't know what is IP address so once you listen to these videos here you'll get a very good understanding on addressing where uh, why we need IP addressing in the lecture 1 in the lecture 2 I introduce the different classes and in the lecture 3 I discuss some differences between private and public addresses so I have something around more than 17 lectures with something around 5.5 hours of contents where I'm going to introduce the submitting and by the end of the course, you will be able to submit a network in your head. And finally, I'll be discussing about your private and public IP addresses. What's the difference and why we need a private and public IP addresses. So mostly in the section 2, you'll get introduced to your submitting. And you'll be very much comfortable with all the submitting calculations, especially FLSM here. And in the section 3, we'll get into some advanced submitting calculations. We'll do some basic VLSM. And then we'll get into some... A VLSM shortcut methods and finally we'll do some complex calculations on B class and A class as well uh, in the last section 4 section 4 I try to put some submitting questions and where I took some sample examples and we'll be doing some submitting calculations like I'll, I'll, I took some examples like 192, 168, 110.10 whenever you see this address with a submit mask of slash 26, you should be in a position to identify the submit mask, the range of the addresses, where it starts, where it ends, all those things. And then I, I try to put uh, some some more advanced calculations here with some more complex submitting calculations. And then finally, I, in the last lecture, I put I try to put some uh, some scenarios, some real scenarios, how we can use the subnetwork when you are designing the networks, especially. So how you need to plan and ensure that how the best practice to design your networks by using the subnets and then finally I put on some questions here in the IP addressing and quiz paper here and then finally there is one more topic which is going to summarize all the all the contents whatever I discussed okay so now the good thing about this course is who can attend the people who are uh, looking for CCNA especially the network administrators not only ccna those who really find difficulty in understanding and calculating the submitting they can they can really use these things so regarding uh, myself so i'm i'm sikandar gauss point within i'm certified in cci routing switching and service for time so i have been into production network for more than 10 years i have been working as a network consultant as well as a senior technical instructor and training CCNA almost more than eight years I have been in training CCNA so I use I generally uh, work as a consultant and then I also do as a trainer where I'll be doing some trainings on CCNA CCNP and CCI certifications in both 
routing switching and sub responder tracks okay so you can just watch my profile here so i'm certified this is my cci number certified in cca rns and service board here and also did some microsoft certifications initially before i got into uh, cisco specializations okay so i work as a freelance cisco instructor and i'm responsible for many uh, corporate trainings in in different locations like uh, there are some of the corporate clients which are trained initially so still i'm doing some trainings on this so I'll, I'll be doing some worldwide delivery authorized cisco trainings from ccna to cci level routing switching and service border tracks especially for major cisco learning partners okay so these are some of my roles and responsibilities and i just try to list some of the core networking skills which are specialized these are all the core networking skills okay so you can you can get in touch with me on uh, facebook so you can you can just come down to this site facebook.com this is my profile where you can get in touch with me on the facebook you can even drop me a mail on my personal email id okay and even these are my personal email ids i just listed out here and you can even follow me on twitter so i'll be using the same sikandar cci my twitter account okay not only that you can also follow me on my uh, new website which will be networkonlineacademy.com so which is an online training method where you'll be stay updated with all the updating course which i which i'll be doing in my next couple of months so i'll be updating more courses on ccna ccnps as well as cci and you can watch them on on udemy.com as well and even i do some online training sessions also